So you're looking to start a project in a project management tool, but you aren't really sure where to get started. A key place to start is by learning how to create boards, and in this video, we'll go over just that. The goal is to make your workflow as simple and as streamlined as possible using boards. We'll cover the necessary steps you need to take for creating a board, which will help you efficiently organize items and tasks for your projects. By the end of this video, you'll have an in-depth understanding of creating boards that includes info about groups, templates, and types of fields. Let's start with going over what a board is and what it does. A board is the central building block within a workspace, providing a dedicated environment for managing projects and data. Whether you have one or multiple projects you're working on, boards will help make each process go by like clockwork. Now let's get to the nitty gritty, creating a board. In Plaky, you have two options to choose from, starting a board from scratch or choosing one of many templates. To create a new board in Plaky, move over to the sidebar placed on the left side of the screen. There you should see your listed workspace at the top with a drop-down menu of all your workspaces. Right below the workspace, click on the plus or add button and choose the new board and select create from scratch. You'll be prompted to give your board a name and write a brief description about your project for other team members. And it's that simple. Now you've created your very own customizable board that you can change to meet your specific needs. If you want to save time and effort when setting up new projects or workflows, feel free to choose pre-designed layouts that offer a structured framework for specific uses or industries. You follow the same steps as before, but instead of choosing Create from Scratch, you choose Create from Template. Plaky covers the most common project processes you'll see like sales, software development, marketing, etc. A major benefit of using a template is that all of the groundwork is laid out for you, like structures, fields, and all of your settings are pre-made. But you still have the option to customize these templates in case you need to tweak something. Let's talk groups. Groups are used to categorize and organize individual tasks within a group. You can organize each group by different criteria such as phases, project names, teams, etc. You'll notice that each group acts as a folder that separates tasks so it's easier to keep track of your progress. To make managing groups more convenient, you can also drag and drop tasks between groups as you make progress. An important part of board creation is making use of fields. Much like cells are used in spreadsheets, fields are used for representing attributes and writing in data. Plaky makes use of this to give your board structure and information related to your projects. When a task is created, choose a field type that you can further customize. Plaky offers different field types that you can add, such as text for names, descriptions, or general, dates for deadlines, start dates, or progress reports, status to track the progress of tasks, person to assign tasks to team members, numbers to store numerical data or quantities, a timeline to visually represent and manage the timing of tasks, tags to categorize and organize tasks on your board, rich text to format and style text within your items, links for including web links or URLs within your items, and you can add, customize, and reorder columns if you need to as well. Now that you're familiar with creating and customizing boards, you can add it to your workflow, and you always have the option to change it. But before I let you off the hook, let's go through a really quick recap. You create a board by clicking the plus or add button and select either create from scratch or create from template. If you choose to create from scratch, remember to give your board a name and a quick description. Next, you'll create groups within your board to group all of your related tasks to their respective projects. Lastly, you need to manage your tasks and projects by fields. And that's all there is to it. 
For more information about creating boards or how to use other tools and features in Flaky, be sure to visit our website or check us out on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.